Hi, my name is Tyson Price. It is now 5.14 p.m. here at my house. Um, let's see, what was I going to say? Oops, that's my phone. <laughs> I got the text message just now. <laughs> Today is Thursday, February 13th, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what my text message is. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to make this YouTube video. <laughs> so, I'm sure you saw the YouTube video before this one where I was walking up and down my street. But now I thought of another YouTube video <laughs> to make. So, uh, you're going to get sick and tired of me hearing this about, uh, especially after the last two videos, and then now after this one, you might be sick and tired of me. Holy cow, I'm tired. But, um, I'm just going to just say this right now, which is just whatever comes to my mind. And once I start speaking, then I'll have a bunch of stuff come to my mind. So, so, let us support each other. Let us support everyone here on North with what they need to be supported with. Ah, uh, that is the same message. It's wanting me to open it so I can see it. So I'll just do that. <laughs> Sorry. So, let us support each other with what we need to be supported with. And let us accept people for who they are. Because everyone makes mistakes. Even you. And even I make mistakes. Everyone commits sin. Y even you commit sin. And even I commit sin. Everyone commits evil acts. That even you and I commit evil acts that we probably shouldn't do. We, we are all in need of repentance. We all need to repent. Which means change. Repentance means change. We need, so when we repent, it means that we don't do, um, it means that, um, when we, um, like, make a mistake, or when we, um, commit a sin, or when we commit an evil act, we get down onto our knees and pray to Heavenly Father slash God and apologize to Him. And if we commit a sin or an evil act or a mistake against someone else, then we admit to that person or to those people what we have done wrong to them and we apologize to them. And then... When we repent, we don't, we try, we don't do that action again, or we try not to do that action again, or we at least don't want to do that action again, and so we try not to do it again. But sometimes 
since we are humans, like we are all humans, like you are a human, I am a u human, we sometimes we make the same mistake or sin or evil act over and over again, even if we don't want to. But what you can do, I need to start doing this, and we all need to start doing this, and you can start doing this, but um, when we want to make a bad choice, and when we want to make a mistake, and when we want to, um, like, sin or commit an evil act, stop where you are at right now and well you know and you d and you do not need to do it but find something else to do instead especially if it's one of those sins or mistakes or evil acts that you happen over that you happen to do over and over again if it pops into your mind that you sort of want to do it again. Don't do it. To just find something to good to do, like find someone to serve and serve them, or find someone to help or and help them, or get down onto your knees and pray to Heavenly Father slash God, or open the or if you have scriptures nearby. Open your scriptures and read your scriptures, or um, just find something good and kind to do and do it. And there is no need to get mad or angry or upset at anyone who commits a sin against you or who commits a mistake against you, or who commits an evil act against you. Um, but you do need to be kind with everyone, no matter what they do. And if someone commits a mistake, or commits a sin, or an evil act, you can very politely go up to them and tell them that they made a mistake or sin or evil act but you can still love them and still treat them with respect and forgive them and if someone steals your vehicle or your car or truck or you know and you find out who, steal, who stole it from you and if you, um, you know, just, and you find out who it is, just be kind with them and forgive them because they may be going through a tough time in their life and they may have stolen the car to make things better in their lives, but just forgive them and um, love them just love everyone respect everyone forgive everyone be very kind with everyone be a friend with everyone everyone needs a friend everyone needs to be loved so comfort those who stand in need of comfort mourn with those who mourn Heal those who need to be healed. Heal those who need to be healed. Um, share your testimony with others about God. Share your testimonies with others about Jesus Christ. Share your beliefs about what you believe with with about of God and Jesus Christ with others listen to others listen to others learn from others 
teach others um, share your thoughts and feelings with others let others share their thoughts and feelings with you let others share their testimonies and beliefs with you open your hearts towards others um, soften your hearts towards others change your heart so you can start loving people and caring for those who need to be cared for and um, sometimes people will do things that may make you mad but it's okay to be mad but it's not okay to be mad with them and it's not okay to be mad with God but be kind with God and be kind with others and um, be honest tell the truth do not lie just you know <laughs> Um, I hope I'm saying everything that I want to say that I've thought of the last few weeks. Sometimes you get a bunch of thoughts in your minds that you want to share with people. And sometimes you've had those thoughts going through your head every day for like a few um, months. But then when you finally go to share your thoughts and feelings with people, then those thoughts and feelings <laughs> flees your mind and you go speechless. <laughs> uh, so maybe those thoughts and feelings are just for you, but I don't know. <laughs> I think that happens with me all the time. I get a lot, a lot of thoughts and feelings with whatever I, with what I, what I want to tell people. But then when I finally go and try and tell them, then they leave my mind and I forget what I was going to tell people. But there, I think there's a reason for that. Maybe those thoughts and feelings are meant to be for you and not for anyone else. At, you know, <laughs> that happens with me all the time. And I'm sure that happens with you too. So maybe it's important to write down those thoughts and feelings and act upon them and um, because those thoughts and feelings could be coming from God and it could be a way that God is teaching you. Like if you have the thought or feeling to not to smoke and not to drink alcohol then that could be coming from God. So if you get a thought or feeling to be kind with someone, then act upon that, because that feeling could be coming from God. And, and do what God asks you to do. And... But sometimes you get thoughts and feelings from Satan or the devil. Do not fall into those um, thoughts and feelings. Those thoughts and feelings could be like thoughts and feelings telling you to murder people, to steal stuff, or to um, smoke or drink, or drink you know, like drink alcohol, or or could be telling you to cheat on the test or you know do not listen to those feelings and do not do what those feelings tells you to do I think I've given you a good example um <clears throat> so just let people believe what they want to believe and you can believe what you want to believe and you can feel free to share what you believe with others and you should let others share what they believe with you because if you think about that each and every each and every religion 
has, well, a lot of, there are a lot of good religions that all believe in almost the same things. But there is only one church that has all truth. There are a lot of religions that has some truth, but there is only one church that has all truth, that has all truth that, you know, and that religion, I believe, is the one that I belong to, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So, and I will, and I will leave the links of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints down below that you can click onto and explore. So, but this, I guess this message is to let you know to just forgive people and forgive yourselves, love yourselves, love others. We are, this earth life is a school. God sent each and every one of us here to learn, to learn how to become like Him and to test our faith in Him and to, and to learn more of them, learn more about Him and the, and school is a is a place where we can learn. So this earth is almost like a school where we can learn and grow and teach others what we have learned and um just you know <laughs> I'm just telling you just random stuff that's popping into my mind right now. So so, we are here, all here to learn, and when we commit mistakes or sins or evil acts, um, we are in a way, um, learning, um, sorry. Just, we are learning, we are learn from the mistakes and evil acts and sins we make. So, and, so, yep. So just, it's okay to not, it's okay to hate the sins and evil acts and mistakes that people make. And that we make, and that I make, but, um, but it's okay to love the person and to love, um, who they are. They are a child, they are a child of God. You are a child of God. I am a child of God. Everyone is a child of God. We are all spiritual brothers and sisters here on earth together, learning from each other, teaching from each other, meeting each other, talking with each other. We are all bro spiritual brothers and sisters, uh, and we are spiritual sons and daughters of Heavenly Father slash God, and Heavenly Father slash God loves me, you, and everyone. And... We need to treat everyone like God, like how God would want us to treat them with love and respect and kindness and friendship. Be a friend with everyone. Good to meet people. Um, Get, just introduce yourselves to people and try and meet people and try and find out um, who they are and what they believe in and you can let them know what who you are and what you believe in and 
learn from each other's beliefs and experiences and I think you get the idea. We are all here on earth together to help to to help each other and to serve each other. So let people serve you. Let people help you. Go out and find people to serve today. Go out and help people today. I like to I I work at Desert Book in Midville, Utah in the Fort Union area located at 1110 East Fort Union Boulevard, Midville, Utah 84047 and we sell pictures, all sorts of different pi pictures of Jesus Christ uh, like this one and like of the one up here and they like to buy a bunch of pictures of, of Jesus of Jesus Christ and they like to um, give them out to random people and children and let random and children know that Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost loves them and of your best three friends here you will always have. And you can do the same thing too. You can go on to desertbook.com and buy certain pictures of Christ and do, give, do the same thing. Let, and Or you can go into a desert bookstore near you and buy pictures of Christ and pass them out to people and let people know that Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost truly does love them. Be and of their best three friends, they will always have. Because everyone needs to know that. I wish I can physically give this picture and this picture to you. And let you know that Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost truly does love you. But, and are your first, best for three friends you will always have. But I can't physically give these to you. Unless you come into the desert book where I work at. And you see me walking there. And then I can do that. But, um, but I can tell you through you, the technology of YouTube that Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost truly does love you. They are your best three friends you will always have. Smile and be happy. Do not be mean with anyone, but be kind with everyone. Just be compassionate with everyone. Be patient with everyone. Love people. So, just, yeah, we are here, on, we are all here on earth together to, for a certain reason, but we need to find out the reason why we are all here on earth. And, um, in fact, we are all here on earth to do God's work. But we need to find out what that work is that God wants us to do for him. And then once we find out what that is that God wants us to do for him, we can do his work. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Thanks. Subscribe to me. Comment on this video. Share this video with anyone you want. Um, comment on this video. Subscribe to me. Share this video with anyone you want. Add this video to any of your playlists you may have. Like this video. Okay, smile and be happy. Make others happy. Put a smile into others' faces. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. Have a great night. I love you. Bye.